Welcome to the Empire, buddies. Rampant, and welcome back to my Holy Roman Empire campaign for the Stainless Steel Historical Improvement Project mod from Evil 2, where we're going to continue where we left off from last time. Still trying to push on into Norway at the moment, where I have a lot of farting to still do. There's only a couple more cities left to take from them. They've got Skara, they've got uh, Kalmar, and then they've got uh, Sigtuna. They do not actually control... Oh, wait, no, they did. They took it back. They took Visby back. Okay. So they did take that back. Uh, that's the air right there. I don't know where the king is. He might have been the one that actually took Visby back. Now, around here, I want to try and see if we can lure them out. I'm kind of fearful they're just going to run away. But we're still going to try it, because I do have my spy here who might be able to open the gates. So let's try and attack these guys. They're going to run. Yep, okay, that's what I kind of thought might happen. And then I've got 62% chance to walk on in here. If you guys can open the gates and I can make my way in, that'll be the easiest way to deal with this fight. Although, I think technically this is one of the castles that only has one entrance. So opening the gates doesn't do a whole lot. So I might actually still want to siege it, because that's a 40% chance. No. Okay, so we, we will have to siege this area. So we'll siege it. Maybe they'll have an army that actually decides to try and... Oh, if I would have known about you guys, attacking you would have lured them out. But you were hidden beforehand, so... We'll have to siege Skara. Um... You actually were successful there, so you got rank up there. That's good. Okay, so that's good for all of you guys. I'm still waiting to figure out like when we're going to want to try and push on into Pisana. Um, I do... We are pretty close oh, to being ready, because I've got, like, no spies there. I've got one spy there, 70% chance. Quite a few guys in that city. Uh, quite a few... Not that many there. Only some crossbows and some cav. I've got, at the moment... Um, it's not my son. It's, this is my son. My heir designate, uh, he's right here. This is his, uh, wasn't this his adoptive, uh, brother right now, right? Yeah, that's his adoptive brother, not adoptive, his, uh, brother-in-law, sorry. His brother-in-law is the one that's going to be kind of helping lead, uh, the push into Pisana. And, uh, I know right now, I could have sworn, oh, there's, like, one right here. You can try and go on in here, you're going to be able to get in. So I've got a 70% chance for both these cities to make their way on in. And honestly, I'd kind of maybe, ooh, that's actually quite a bit over there in Ankara. I kind of think, because they've got a lot of guys around here, um, I, you are not, you are administratively minded. You would be far better served to just stay around here, be the dog of Venice, and keep building yourself up around here. I still hate that you're unintelligent, but you've got a lot of good traits, and so hopefully keeping you here is going to improve yourself uh, a bit more. This army here is ready to go. I kind of want to have it so, let's see, I need a different army to go over to Pisa. Apisa. And then I'll have you probably go for Firenze. Because I want to push on into them before they are reconciled. Because they are still... Yeah, they are still excommunicated. I don't like that I'm not very well liked at the moment. But that's okay. But let's try and see. Because I can probably... Oh, no. Actually, there's not a land path here. Ooh. Okay. We're going to wait until next turn, then. Um, I thought there was a pathway between here. So I could walk straight through there. But I cannot. So what we'll do is grab all these men. Let's bring them over to this right here. I can grab probably seven more guys, because I'm trying to see if maybe we can get some... Uh, maybe we can get a uh, Man of the Hour here. Let's grab all of you guys. Put them in there. And then... Oh, Verona's actually pissed off if I do that. Um, How bad is it? 60... I can put this there for now. So let's just do that. Build that up. You'll be happy then. You kind of waiting about. And then I need uh, Venice here. Try and get me some more spies. Because I'll try and see if I can get somebody into the capital. But we'll hold off on that because we do need to make sure that... Because I still think the king's in there. I believe he is at least. So we'll have to double check that next turn with my agents if he is or not. If he is, we'll leave that alone. And we'll focus on taking these two cities first. Then after that, we'll take that. Because I only want to take these three cities initially. Then we'll ignore them. Because I don't want to take too much... Um, and kind of overextend myself, because again, these areas, once I take them, that's going to piss some people off. Let's see, has there been a crusade? Oh, no, that was just, okay, I thought there might have been a crusade. No, that's just from my guy burning another heretic. Um, again, more costly armies, because I know these have some random... Is this all it is? A beauty in Poland? Another one? Uh, a scientific breakthrough. Okay, so now all factions have increased range for their ships. That's perfect for us. A couple of the Muslims. So, do they get even more range than other ships now? Possibly. Um, okay. So, also, ooh, there was the idea here that uh, I should rename Freiburg to Welfberg. I personally love the idea simply because Welf Welf has been here forever. So, you know what? I am going to rename this city to Welfberg because I think it fits. He, he's been a, 
uh, stalwart defender of this city. He is an insanely chivalrous man. Uh, not the most loyal at all times, but he's done his duty. Uh, building the city up and defending it for the Empire. And so we will uh, reward him for it by uh, commemorating the city uh, castle in his name. Um, let's see what's going on here. So everybody's getting some more training and stuff for mining. I like that. And then uh, you got more soldier training there. I really want to keep in mind like anything that's going on for my son's character. Come on, man. You're the beautiful. That's something at least. You've got something going on for you. You're sp I need you to physically flawless. Jesus, dude. <laughs> There is no chance this man's portrait will be uh, will be flooded, no matter how daft the earth. Nice. I I approve of it. Um, one of my spies was pushed back out again. Oh, pizza. But let's try that one more time. Um, seventy-two percent chance. Seventy-two percent chance here. And then I did just get more spies. So let's check that out. Oh. Okay, I thought I recruited that for this turn, but I did not. Um, let's try and get you in here. Also, let me try and see if... There is not the king in there. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I could take more shit. Um, Gan, just finish some stuff. I don't need this many guys in here. I really don't. Um, okay, so for you guys, let's get something to get some more money. Um, trade's doing well right now. Oh, yeah. 500 there. Yes, please. Grab that. Oh, the area is a little upset, though. Oh, I'm gonna get that first, though, actually. I'm, I'm queuing that up, because that is a really nice building. But we need some more public order around here, because I do need to have it so that we can move out all oh, those infantry units, because they're not doing the best. Um, oh, that's also the unrest. Yeah, that is the unrest from that. Okay, so... Well, I make less money. I think it's okay for that, because, yeah, the unrest is at 65%. I know that's because of the recent, um, uh, me getting my recent king, um, who still, I'm hoping we can uh, try and crown him in time. This area has to grow. Uh, I'm trying to bring, uh, you oh, on over fine. this way, so this you can grow it, because you've got far more chivalry that's than the, my yeah, current faction like leader. That. So you can ideally help grow the city, then we can try and have it so that we'll start building it up. Um, but now at this point in time, I do think it is a good enough opportunity to try and strike and hit you guys. So I've got you guys here. Let's see. So, hmm, let's do this. Because right now, I want to have somebody at least try and siege that. I've got a couple guys around here, so we can do this. We can take like four of you, yeah, four of you against those. Yeah, that 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 we'd win. So let's start the siege here. Attack this neutral faction. Gates didn't open. Uh, are the gates going to open here? Yes, they are. Uh, what about here? Gates are also going to open. Okay, so it's only in Bologna, which actually, um, once we take Frenzy and we take Pisa, then uh, we will be able to have it so we can take my spies out of those cities, put them into Bologna, and maybe then open the gates. So let's first start off with Frenzy. Um, I know with up north, uh, we'll keep sieging that for a little bit for right now. Captain Alberto, good, a good army here. Uh, a lot of good troops in here. I'm going to primarily hope that I'm able to get them into the city center, unload on them with my crossbows, and kill them. This is going to be the toughest out of all these fights, honestly. Uh, Pisa only had, like, what, two crossbows and one cab unit? Not bad. Um, and then Rogna, that one had only, like, three guys as well. With the fact that their king is not in Rogna like he was originally, I might actually push in further. Originally, I was thinking about only taking just these three cities. That's it. No. I will take more while I can. Because I know with at least, um, with Norway, I'm kind of holding back a little bit. I can kind of be a little bit slower about that. That's fine. But we'll have it so that what we'll do is, um, we can push in harder down here to make up for that up there. Because I know I'm going to start making so much money from this. Um, let's have it so, we'll take, uh, four of you guys. Let's put some of you over here initially. And then I'll have my crossbows go over here. And then I'll have my cavalry go to over here. And then ideally, we want them to go to the city center. You can just run straight on in with my cav. These guys also start trying to make your way on inside. Because we want to try and intercept them and get to the city center before they do. And Or if anything, even if we can't get them uh, beat them to the point, uh, we then just want to make sure that we force them to make their way back there. So I can unload on these guys. Because at the moment... Again, this is... Oh, actually, this is perfect. Because, again, they can't walk through this spot here. So they can't walk through here. Uh, they might be trying to make their way over that way. They are pulling back, though. But, yeah, see, if we can beat them to the city center in time, that'd be great. 
Because I know right now you guys might be able to? No, they got their mailed knights coming on in. Mailed knights I'm not going to be able to break, so I think it's okay for us to maybe kind of run on in and just start trying to fight them and win against this. Or, actually, no, hold back. Hold back for now. We can hold back for right now. Wait for my men to get in here. All right, crossbows are in position. Let's now let you guys just freely unload on them because they have no skirmishers. we That's our main advantage in this fight right here. And they have some pretty good melee cav and infantry. So let's take advantage of this and just unload on them because right now we're doing some good damage. 16% are already dead. They might just freely let me shoot every single one of these guys. If they do, we might basically take no damage to take the city. Okay, time to start moving on in. We've done as much damage as we can, essentially, with my forces. We were able to kill about 75% of the enemy army before they even uh, really were able to do much. So let's get you guys to run on over here. I need these guys to make sure they can kind of intercept uh, the infantry over here. Make sure they can't get back into the city. So my infantry, you're going to make your way on in. The enemy general is dead, but does, doesn't matter. They're in the city center, and they're not going to break from that alone. So now we just have to finish off and kill everybody here. Or capture the city center in the meantime. Because, like, you guys... I think they're stuck. Are they? Oh, yeah, these guys are stuck. Just ignore them. Just ignore them. If they're not going to be able to run back to the city center and reset it, then we just can ignore them for right now. Finish off these guys, and the timer is almost up. There we go. So now we've been able to claim Frenze. So we now have that under our control. Now let's go for uh, Pisa. We're going to check that one next. And I'll keep trying to say, take all the spies that I have in these cities, throw them into Bologna, and see if we can open those gates too. Because if we can, we can take three settlements all at once with Italy. And then after that, um, probably keep pushing. Because I think, if I remember correctly, so let's see, so we're just going to sack it. Uh, damage to the farms, I'm well aware. There's a bit of resistance here. That should be okay. Oh man, we have some really nice buildings up around here. I like it. Oh, so much. Uh, I'm gonna start making so much money. Yeah, because they've got, um, let's see, so they do control. Yeah, they've got all this. Yeah, they do literally have all of Italy and everything right there. Uh, who are you? That is... Okay, it's not... Oh, actually, oh, sorry, sorry. That's loyalty. That's not uh, authority. So that's somebody we don't really care about. Um, let's try and see, though. You can stop that for a second. Let's have you try and send over my other spy. 95% chance to open this up. And it goes to 78% immediately with him. Uh, still can't open the gates just right now. So we'll have to then try and do the fight around here. I'm going to take my general. I'm going to have you go back into this army and lead another force. This one right here should be a lot faster. Uh, just some basic crossbows, some basic militia. They do have the mailed knights who could do a bit more damage, but I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue, given the army I've got here. So push on in here. Hopefully, the two additional spies will be able to open up the gates of Bologna. Then we'll have a unified front. There's only one of those city then that I border with uh, Pisana to take from them. So, that, so we can just start pushing my guys over that way after these areas are happy. So let's, start let's have it so then my general and my cav group you guys up let's bring you over to the side here crossbows and skirmishers i'll put you guys up here and then i'll take um let's take you four you guys can be up here with my skirmishers and then you guys can kind of just chill right around here um back up a little bit start the limit. so these guys are the ones that we're going to want to bring on in side right now seeing as how at the moment they are nowhere near us so let's get you guys to start trying to run on over here. My cav is at the moment, actually, they're pretty close to us. Let's see, are they on the walls? Yeah, they are on the walls, but they are getting down off of the walls. So I might be able to send my cav in immediately, try and hit that spot. Uh, only the generals around here. The general's bodyguard, yeah. So let's have you try and run it up. Go and try and actually fight that guy, because pretty much every single one of you is a spear unit. So you guys can try and do that. If these guys get the spearmen away from us... Basically, if you guys start getting off the walls too, I'm going to probably run on in. Because then my cav can pretty easily defeat these guys. It's just that one could get some pretty good shots into me if I'm not careful. They're bringing everybody else away, but this guy. Okay, we've started to engage them in melee with my spears. You guys just need to keep trying to hold it again. Uh, other reinforcements are making their way on in to the side. Crossbows, I need you to keep trying to make your way up a little bit closer. Try and get around here. Captain's already dead. That's perfect. Cab, you're trying to rush on in because I saw the crossbow ran off the map now. Or ran off the walls now. So now what we can do is try and surround him. I don't think we'll get to him before he gets to the safe center. Nope. 
It would have been great if we could have then, because then he would have been able to be routed and, and just ran down. Um, but now, my cavalry focusing on these archers, they'll be able to break them down pretty easily. We'll then just have them surrounded from three sides. Number-wise, they've already lost 12% so far. Uh, these units are almost here. Yep, they're just about here. As soon as you guys join on in in the fight here, I think we'll slowly but surely finish them off. Okay, there's another one. So now we have uh, Pisa under our control as well. We can now take those two spies that, honestly, if the one guy in Firenze and these two both are at about 70 individually for each city, if all of them in the same settlement, as long as they survive, I would be surprised if I'm not able to open the gates. So let's see, so just sack the settlement again. Yes, the farms were damaged. That is okay. There's a bit of resistance. Yep, we're aware of that. That's fine. You guys will be added into the our glorious empire soon. Like, oh man, each of these cities is making 20,000 per. And then... What is this? This building will enable the ruler for to gain the crown and study the building browser. Oh, okay. Actually, does that mean... Okay, because that should mean like we have a similar building down here for us that allows us to be crowned. I never noticed that. Um, because it should be this city for us. Do I not have that? I don't see anything like that in here for us. It's not that. Oh, that's interesting. We should still be able to be crowned as the Holy Roman Emperor at some point. I think we just need to get a uh, cathedral around here. Still working on that. But now we need to try and have it so that you guys right here, let's try and take these spies and... Oh, you've already did your action, so only one of you could go in. So we can get it up to 96%. Yes, it opened. Okay. So now let me have it so at the moment you are down... You've got four guys... Um, let me try and see if uh, you have enough movement to get over there. Uh, you do, but not to the that army. Let's have you do that. And then let's just grab these mercenaries. I think, honestly... Well, we can grab the cav, too. Grab the cav, bring them over here. Bring all the cav from this army, too. Just all of that over to make sure that we have as many guys as possible to crush this army. I'll command this guy myself. Um, I don't want the AI to command them at all. We'll have to solidify these areas and make sure they're not unhappy. Um, being that uh, we did do a lot of damage to the farms. Those actually took quite a bit of damage. As long as the unrest isn't too bad. Although technically the unrest might be better than my uh, unrest from my, uh, my new faction leader stuff. We'll have to see. But let's start deployment. Let's have it so um, all of you guys group up. Start the battle. And then I can have it so that, basically, you guys group up. Um, I'll probably actually want to have this. Again. Some of you guys go up to the side here. Some of you guys go up to the side here. And then I can have it so that, uh, basically, as soon as you're on the map, I'll run you in the backside. Because at the moment, they've got the one cab unit. They've got the, the crossbows over there. Sorry, spearmen over there. And crossbows over there. So those guys will be the ones that are going to be the biggest concern for us. But you guys just try and run along over here. And you guys are trying to run along the other side into the uh, city. I probably should have made sure I moved you guys initially, but that's fine. Let's get this guy back on in and have you start just trying to capture the city center. And then these three units um, are going to just start trying to make their way on in. Okay, they're back in the city center. Let's have everybody start engaging these units. So we've got all of you guys hitting the crossbows. Gotta hit the mailed knights. Um, I'm having my general and the rest of my cav bring on it for so your way on in. Uh, ignore that spearman. Need to just make your way over to the city center. I'm going to have my other spearman be the one that tries to make their way on in and uh, tries to distract this guy from getting back to the city center. If we can just make sure we're in between him and the city center, that's the best way to go about it. Because right now we might be able to actually break that guy once the uh, captain's dead, who's currently at about 30 ish dudes. City center is under our control at the moment. And so it's just you, essentially. Is everybody dead? Yes, they are. Let's have all of you guys just rush at this poor spearman. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Holy Roman Empire. You are now going to love working with us. And uh, please never think of ever rebelling. We've already had to crush several uh, civil wars. If you think about it, we'll just have to be crushing another one. Okay, there we go. We've now been able to claim Rogna as well. Um, I do love that literally basically taking these three cities is going to increase my income per turn by about 12k. 
Literally, because uh, every settlement around here makes about 4,000 on its own. And I just took three of them. And now I know we're going to be making our way over soon after these areas are happy to start trying to push on into the uh, castle over here. And then let's see, so you guys, make sure you repair that stuff. And I probably <laughs> should just get that, just to make it so you guys are happy immediately, because at the moment, Unrest is 5%. <laughs> Wait, seriously? Like, could I technically have just, like, one of you guys in here and you'd be happy? Yeah. Holy shit, they love me. <laughs> see, they wanted to join us the entire time, because why wouldn't they? We are the rightful rulers of Italy as the whole Roman Empire. Especially when you consider the fact... Oh, there's aggressive. Uh, as you're expanding uh, your Rome quickly, you get a reputation for being aggressive, and the other factions are more wary of you. They'll be eager to join wars with you, seeing it as a preventative expedient. Let's see. Um, you need to slow your down expansion or face uh, unrest if all your cities grow fast, and the other sections will affect you. So, we will need to try and slow down... <laughs> I did just take three settlements in a single damn turn. So we do need to try and be a little bit more cautious and slow our expansion, I guess. Uh, you guys aren't liking me there. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop our expansion for now. We we have annexed the cities of uh, importance to us. We'll build them up. Make sure you guys are then happy with me. Um, so for right now, then, you guys, let's make sure we po focus on anything that's going to get public order. Because I know a lot of these areas are going to be upset because of that specifically. Um, actually, uh, I can have you just guys just only uh, repair the stuff for right now. Just repair everything for right there. Um, back up here. I'm gonna, because of the fact that we're now be considered a uh, aggressive faction, let's just starve out Skara. That way we can make sure that we're not pissing them off too much, uh, because I do worry about me losing, um, some of my alliances if I'm too aggressive. So, let's hold off. Slow down our advance. We've now been able to blitz on into Italy and take some good land from them. But I don't want to have uh, the Argonese attack me. I don't want Poland or Hungary to attack me. So we, we should take some time and build ourselves up a bit more. The costly army. That's all fine and dandy. Um, What is this about? It's like medieval uh, Eastern migration settlements of Germanic speaking people from the Holy Roman Empire. Um, no, 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 no. I don't like that. <laughs> Um, in many cases, the Germans are not for the actual migration of the Germans, but the intentional migration of the populations. Um, for now, the Crusader units will appear also in the northern and eastern Latin lands. There be a number of changes to Hungary before concerning the control of their lands, creating provinces. Okay. Special factions have access to some more troops and also to units. That, okay, that's not bad. I thought it was going to be a bit more uh, horrendous for us. Um, acceptable neighbor, what's it about? Let's see, so as your uh, speed of conquest has slowed down, other factions will lower their guard with you and be better disposed. And first thing you're slowly forgetting the fear of being called in arms in a war. Then it's right, you'll start to depend on factions. Okay, so, yes, yeah, so we'll just slow down our things for right now. And I know it was actually suggested in the comments that I should try and have it so we try and go... Oh, man, look how much money these make us. Um, try and get rid of some of these rebels. I know, while I'm not doing much, I'm trying to have... Well... You are a bit up there, man. I shouldn't have you be running around continuously trying to fight things. You've gotten... Ooh. Ooh. Baltic Crossbowman, too. Not a bad unit. I like that. Oh, I want to get that. Um, But I probably should start trying to have it so we get rid of some more rebels around here. Uh, you also over here. Holy shit! Yeah, you, uh, you're the right option here. It gets it up to 6.5% for growth. Yes, please do so. Uh, please do that. Looks like, uh, yeah, unrest is going down a lot. That used to be at 65% before. So, we can slowly keep trying to build everything. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Oops. Um, okay, so you guys are good there. Task manager. Okay. Then, building sound. So, going back around, we now need to keep just building up what we've got. Um... Sure, get some more law from that around there. Um, Onslow, got a brothel. I do need you guys to get some more public order. Grab the school, I would say. Um, unrest is at 50% there. It's going up a little bit at least, not a ton. Um, Frenze, I don't know what I want to get you around here for you guys. You already make me so much money, I don't know what we should focus on. Um, there are just more ports, like, let's see. This one would get me another 400. 
Uh, this one would get me another 300. This one would get me about 100. Uh, probably just, yeah, the port with Dockyard is the best one. Just make sure there's a... Oh, that's a, actually quite a bit of corruption. I think that's 100 from that thing. Um, Stonemasons, honestly, that might not be the worst one. Yeah, that's fine. You get the Stonemasons there. Uh, Pisa, I'm going to have you guys probably grab... Merchant's War for you. Quite a bit of... Well, actually, that one doesn't add a ton of corruption. Not as much as the other one. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to get this. Because that makes it so we get more public order to the law... Amplifies conversion, and then increase in trade goods. I do find it interesting that we don't seem like to have a building like this in our capital. Um, as far as I'm aware. Other than that, let's see, you guys are still waiting on uh, growth over here. You're getting close. You're over halfway there, and you're at 2.5%. I can actually lower the taxes a little bit more. Uh, the 200 gold I'll keep myself right now. Is there anything else I want to build right now? So, like, over here... Oh, man, there's a lot of areas I can build there. So that's what just happened with that new um, event just happened that popped up. Uh, I'm probably going to grab the Provincial Council. Gives you some more farm stuff and then some more trade. Does cost a little bit more there, but that's worth it, I would say. Um, God. Also, in the increases, uh, does that actually increase the amount of merchants we can have? If it does, that will be a really nice building gear. Um, I think we'll hold off and finish the Baron Stable first because we're trying to get more growth and uh, public order a little bit. Uh, Rust Skill Day. You guys, probably Night Sale, because that'll give us a little bit more growth and a little bit more law. You can do that. Um, I think we then want to save my money at this point, as I want to always make sure we have around 5 to 10k um, all the time. Also, I probably need to make sure I save up money, because honestly, you getting 6.5 damn percent in one turn... Um, yeah, that's pretty close to getting you guys to the 30,000 amount almost immediately. So we might be able to start building up this city literally next turn. Oh no, the Pope is dead! Not now! Um, something about the Inquisition, so for now, Inquisitors are going to be on the average more power announcing the Imperial Church of the Nobles. Uh, well, that's not the best for us. Okay, they're giving me another chance to get um, a Merchant Skill thing there. But yes, I wonder who is going to be the Pope. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, now we've just rigged the system forever in my favor. Oh, thank you, Hungry. Thank you for voting for me. I shall remember that fondly. Um, I do need to make sure that... Okay, first and foremost, check over here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> immediately have a high enough. So, um, I want to start construct. Yeah, just start construction immediately. Well, it's like it's one turn. Uh, we can start it, and then just it'll start after that. That's fine. Um, I can then take you back out of here. I actually want to send you around the cities I know I need to grow. This area is about to grow. Oh, it's grown now. And it's not as bad that it's losing population right now. Not at least because I still have time to try and build this up and get a uh, natural population back around here. Um, instead, I would actually rather focus on, like, Lubeck. Like, let's try and send you over to Lubeck. I kind of like having you just go around the cities and try and uh, increase the population. So you can do that. So he's not growing anymore with uh, my king here, but that's fine. Um, next turn, I'll have it so that we'll start the construction of the walls. Also, I didn't realize that it actually increases upkeep income right there. And overall, we're doing far better now. Uh, especially financially, now that we have that land in Italy. Let's see, see rate upgrade finally. Yep, we knew know about that. So we just need to wait until next turn for that. Um, family tragedy, Bertha Holman is dead. That's not good. Let's see, good farmer. That's not bad. We do need you to keep getting better traits as an administrator. I want you to be the um, an amazing um, person to watch over. No! Wealth of Battle is totally senile! No! No, man, no! Oh, I'm so sad about that. You're now senile, man. Took long enough. He's now beyond battle, too. You did so well, man. It means he's getting pretty close to dying there. Uh, Verona has now been able to build up their roads. Uh, you guys need more growth, so let's grab yeah, the water conductor there, I'd say. Kind of get that. That'll give us a nice boost for growth and public order. And then um, Venezia just got the better uh, windmills. Let's see. Traders, fairground, dockyard, orphanage. I would say... I don't have any other buildings for... Actually, uh, am I at the max ones we can get for education stuff? Because I want to make sure we have those maxed out. Um, I need the stone mathens and a cathedral... Okay, so yeah, we need a stonemasons and cathedral for university. So at the moment, we don't have the church. So, yeah, we can get all the way up there. 
because we have got that we've got the quarries built up already and the stonemasons. So let's just spam out the churches here for a bit. Then we can get a university in Forenzia, Venezia, and actually try and have it so you can get even better traits from that. Um, damn it. Ah, they've been reconciled. Um. Yeah. Okay. If that's the case, then we need to pull back from here. We'll pull back. Because if I attack that and take that right now, I am considered the aggressor and an asshole. So we'll pull back away for right now. Um, that should also mean uh, Pisana's also been reconciled, correct? No! They're ex they're still excommunicated. Ooh. Ah, still not. Damn it! I want some of those. But at least the Pope now fucking loves me because I'm now the Pope again. Uh, but yeah, let's pull you guys back around here. I do need to make sure that I keep remembering... Oh, actually, I'm at the max... I am at the max amount of priests right now. Okay, so I can't get any more right now. That's okay. Um, does mean then that we can kind of just hold off as uh, as we have them. Um, I'll just have to keep making sure we keep getting more of those when we can. Um, I can build some more stuff. The on, we need more public order and more growth. So let's grab the church around here. That helps a little bit with everything in that regard. Um, actually, no, I need to... Yeah, I'm going to have to get this instead. Get the public gallows there, because otherwise you guys are not... I don't want to, though. Let's just try and get some more spearmen here. Try and get some more spearmen there. Start trying to get the better church. Um, what else can we grab right now? I think that's a... Pre actually, might be about it. I know we had a lot of things that finished up before. A couple other things will be able to be ready to be built uh, soon. No, actually, I think that might be it, actually. I think it is. Yeah, no. I will actually get to have a nice... Oh, there's something, actually. We can get some stuff over here. Let's grab the better... I would say the river port. Try and get some more growth there if there's any more. There's no more growth for that. Um, I just have to then put somebody in here. Unless that's going to give me any growth. No, that's not going to give me any growth. So it doesn't matter which one's cheaper. This one's cheaper. So grab that. Now, it does seem, though, that uh, Pisana is still going to keep going after me. Uh, also, the Norman, Ro uh, Norman Wars. So there are many wars between the Romani and the Normans in, in Sicily. Uh, Italy, Sicily itself, though, is actually dead right now, so that's not going to do much. Um, but now Byzantine does get access to certain Latin units, which is kind of cool. Um, embezzlement there. You can now actually get to Lubeck. So watch over that city. It's now going to go... Oh, yes, so much better. You are such a great general to walk around and have build up my areas. Um, that's not good for us. You guys happy? Yeah, you're happier there. Okay. Just need to make sure you had something there. We'll keep focusing on building that up for more public order. Um, Bologna, though, is sieged. So we've got a ton of cavalry in this army. Uh, what do you have? A bunch of basic dudes. We've got that general, Giano. Not an amazing army. Not an amazing army. But I have more men that I can send over to you guys. So around here, I don't have many guys that are free upkeep. Um, what we can do, though, is let's try and say... I was wondering if we had more of these guys in the city of Pisana, uh, of Pisa, but I do not, it seems. So what we'll do then is, uh, Venezia, you're fine as you are. I think I'm just going to grab, um, let's grab everybody that's pretty much full health, essentially. Everybody that's essentially full health, like you guys. So that's, uh, 11 guys there. I can lower the taxes here so you're happier. And then this army as well. Let's try and grab 11 units, so four, five, six, six. That should be good right there. Uh, actually, that's more than I was expecting. I meant to grab. I'm mentally behind. Uh, let's say you. One more guy. Let's see behind one of uh, you. And then this area also needs to lower his taxes, so that it is safe as well. And then I can bring you, group over this army, and then let's have it so go right over. I'm trying to put you in the right spot. Because I don't want you to flank them. That should be good oh, enough. Because what I want to do is we will lead the assault with my army here. And then we'll have it so that we will group up with my allies. Um, surround this one. Because I'm providing pretty much all the cavalry to this fight. You guys be commanded by the AI. But I'll have it so that we will group up with you before we engage. I want to make sure that you guys aren't going to get ahead of yourselves. Um, because you're going to be kind of the backbone of my force. So... Sadly, you're led by a captain. That's maybe not the best idea. But um, with how much cav I have in here, because I literally have half a stack of cav, um, we will be far more maneuverable than this army. We can slaughter them all here. And they're still excommunicated because they are straight up at war with the Pope. So uh, they won't be reconciled uh, that easily. So grab all of my skirmishers. 
grab my infantry only have three of you guys but that's fine that should be okay we just need to make sure that we can have it so we can group up with my allies first and foremost so start the battle let's have it so you guys start pushing out i honestly might be able to be aggressive with my cavalry honestly um because let's get you guys all outside right now i have a lot of cav just casually walk for right now because we're going to be waiting for my reinforcements anyways because you guys i want you to just kind of slowly walk on over this way um i'll have it so my guys get in position we'll wait on you Alrighty, i think it is time for my full all right i think it's time to move my forces out all my calves start charging at literally everything they've got here my reinforcements are trying to make their way on over to try and help us out my they're almost here and uh, my men are making their way forward. Cav, just get on in there and do as much damage as you can initially on that first charge. 5% already. Good chunk of their cav is dying. Good chunk of their infantry is dying as well. Yeah, 9% already on that initial charge. Reinforcements. You're battle. supposed to make your way over here. Like this. Let's get my cav to kind of pull back now. Ours. So pull back, guys. Good amount of damage. Let's actually kind of have you guys focus on to more specifically over in one side. Focus more on their cavalry because a good chunk of my men are actually kind of taking some good damage there as well. Yeah, no. More of their men are breaking now. That's what I want to see. And be able to kill their general just yet. Infantry is in position though. Number wise, yeah, 4 to 18. Not bad. Just need all of my cav. Also, general, you need to pull back out of there, man. You're taking a lot of damage. You need to be careful there. Yeah, just kind of lure them a little bit further back to my men. Let's try and hit the guys that are attacking my infantry right now. Because we might be able to just break those guys. Oh, there's some of the foot lines. Yeah, hit those guys first before you hit the infantry. Reinforcements. They actually sent one of their generals over to my guys. And this is where the morale is not doing the best. Okay, let's pull back. If you were uh, Bono and you had more stars, I think we'd be able to just be as aggressive as I have been here. But nah, some of you guys are starting to break. So let's pull back. Let's kind of regroup. Wait until my reinforcements get a little bit closer, or just focus on specific units, like, hey, the general right here, um, that are kind of focused uh, and further away. We don't want to fight this entire blob with all my cavalry. One of the other cav units came back on in. Not exactly what I want to see, but I can't really stop them right now. I can bring my general over here. Number wise, let's see, 14 to 25. Not the worst there. Some of their spearmen in here. General's bodyguard's down 12 units. Come on, once he's dead, uh, it depends on if that's the main general or not. I don't know if that is. He might be the uh, second general, the sporting one. So if he's the sporting one, then they're probably not going to break. Because let's see, this one over here, he's at 12 guys right now. He's fighting spearmen at least, so at least my allies are doing that right. Okay, that was the supporting general, so it's not the main general that's dead right now. Um, I believe so then the main general is the one... Oh, there's somebody over there that attacked them first. I don't know which bodyguard technically he died from, but my right cap right now is going to be focusing on their uh, skirmishers. Focus these guys down first, and then I can probably have it so... Let's see, try and see if you can flank that guy and try and break him. These cab units, uh, they're wavering, not fully breaking. Let's try and hit the crossbowman next here now. Number wise, let's see, 30 to 47. So we're taking a lot of damage, which I don't appreciate. Although I think that's primarily the fact that they focus a lot of... Oh. There we go. Both generals are now dead. So now it shouldn't matter. Now we should be able to easily break both uh, the entire army now and run them all down. Yeah, no, like this area already is starting to clear up a lot. All right, there we go. So we've been able to push back that force. That's one last army that we're going to have to deal with with the forces of Pisana. Um, now, again, we're going to try and make it so we wait a little bit longer before we properly push back in and try and take more land from them. Because they are still excommunicated. And they might permanently be excommunicated because of the fact that they are at war with the Pope himself. So we can try and have it so we wait a little bit longer. These areas do need to get do a little bit better um, with their public order. Let's ransom them off. Rejected it. That's fine by me. And then did you... Ah, you got a little bit more command there, man. Got a little bit more. Let's merge men together here. Same with you guys. And then I'm probably going to have it so... Um... See, I think yes. you can go over here, because so one of you guys can merge there. I can then grab nine guys from this army. Say, like, these guys. And then I can grab one more. Say, um, you. Yeah, you. Then the rest of you, I'll just have, like, half of you go into Varenzia, and half of you go into uh, Pisa. That way we have a little bit better garrisons there. And we've got a strong defense force here in case they decide to try and push back into us again before we're ready. Um, and report, doing well there. 
um, your family member, and then you're still trying to make your way back. And they actually really do not want you to get back. Because uh, let's have you go around this way. And then is this my land still? Not yet. Okay. Because I can see right over here, I can build another watchtower to kind of help light that up a little bit more. Because we'll wait again until they're excommunicated before I start attacking them once more. At the moment, they're not. Um, I do need to do a crusade at some point, I feel like. But for right now, we'll ignore it. Um, then we have construction. Frankfurt got better farms. Oh, let's have you. I really should make sure I keep eating better churches in general, honestly. Especially it makes it easier for me to rig the elections for the Papal States. So we are now starting to build up my capital. I wonder if you're going to survive long enough. Because I know I should be able to build the um, church immediately. Because we need the stonemasons. I have the quarries. So we would have to build that first. Oh, I could just go, go, go to my money. Because that says eight turns. So it'll be eight turns for that. And then the church itself takes 15 turns. So 38 turns. I don't know if you can survive for 38 turns. We can try and see if you will. But honestly, we will probably have to crown his son as the emperor. Because at the moment right now, he is... Uh, I don't think he can survive for 38 turns. That is that is asking a bit much. In this mod, I know sometimes people can get pretty high up there in age. That seems a bit high. Um, let's keep trying to get some more growth around here and more public order. So try and grab some stuff there. And let me see if there's anything else I want to build right now. Because I know we just finished a couple things in certain areas. So we should have a little bit more that we can build. Let's see, the Nemanja Dynasty was the big one. So the game strategy, a few game patterns will change into better, however the conquest will So aggressivity will increase. Interesting, so that's great. I'm already at war with Serbia. Now it's possible there's gonna be even more a uh, bit better uh, wars about that. Um unit Baltic Crossman becomes available in the house. I thought that already was available in those buildings, but okay. Um Let's see, 51, normal intelligent, no. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna accept you. Um, let's see what else. So, interim report, doing okay there. Um, new family member came of age. Okay, so let's see, so, Ludwig von, um, Edfurt, you are administratively minded. I'm probably gonna have you just stay around here, because you are, um, I think, are you actually related to this guy? Let's see, uh, no. <laughs> Where are you on the family tree, anyways? He's over here, so he's like, oh, actually, that's a good question. Because you might actually have Polish blood in you. You have Polish relations. You do not have Polish blood. You are a claimant, though. Hmm. I might have to get this man killed as a uh, no. We're not going to let the Habsburgs get back up into power. We're going to kill this entire family off. So uh, I'm not going to allow you to marry. Um... I will allow you to be a governor, though. I don't think it's a bad idea to basically have it so that... Like, this guy's pretty good around here. He's militarily minded, though, actually. You're administratively minded, and you're actually normal intelligence. So I would have it so that, um... Let's see... How is it if he's the governor right now? It is a bit worse. So let's wait until you die. Then we can give that stuff off on over. Because I think that's not a bad thing for you to have, but for right now, you just need to focus on this area. Let's keep making sure we focus on the churches, because because they're tied to the universities, I really want to max out my churches as soon as possible. Um, you guys just got that building there. We need to focus on more public order buildings then around here, too. Um, that's just letting me get even more stuff around here, I guess. Okay, let's grab the, uh, the library. That'll give some more public order around here. Um, I think I can't recruit anything around there right now. Let's just grab some more guys around here. Send them over there to help watch over the city. Um, and then we can get Brandman just got. The only thing we can also get is besides is just the leather tanner. So we keep trying to build that up. And then I have the better stables around here. You guys are actually doing pretty good for public order. So let's now grab this. Because that's going to give us a bit more trade. Um, quite a bit more, actually. Eh, about 70 more. That's not bad. It does give you more growth around here. And it will allow me to get access to the Baltic crossbow unit. Which isn't bad. Um, like, how do you compare it to my... Oh, it's actually already recruitable around here. It already is. Oh, okay. Um, how does it compare to a normal crossbow unit that I've been having access to? Oh, that's, that's, that, that's better. They, they are better than the basic levy crossbow I'm having. They are more expensive. 
but the damage is higher. Defenses are... Well, you guys have more armor. You guys have just better... You have a shield, actually. You don't have a shield. Um, okay, so eh, it's kind of evens out, essentially, honestly, on what we're gaining and what we're losing. Um, you guys are going to be growing really rapidly yeah, there. Up. I'm going to have you keep walking. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I guess we're fighting this. I was only meaning to continue trying to... Uh, they are technically the aggressor in this fight, so... It's not, this shouldn't be too much of an issue for excommunication. Um, I was just trying to put up a watchtower and you guys ambushed me here. I think we should be okay. That's a bunch of basic infantry. So, oh, they are kind of grouped up in some regard. You guys are kind of all over the place. Cav, let's see, infantry. I'm just gonna try and have it. So infantry, try and just group up here. Archers, try and group up here. And then Cav. Uh, I'm gonna have you guys focus on the backside. So, these are all basic light infantry units, so that should not be too much of an issue. We have to try and group up here. Try and get all my cab to group up a whole of, uh, defend our flank here. Yeah, good amount of damage on you guys immediately there. Kind of, my guys are kind of spread all over the fucking place, which I don't appreciate whatsoever. Um, try, try and go back, you guys can a little bit more. Like yeah, they've already lost 20% of their army, ours. holy shit. Uh, infantry, honestly, just going to AI commands here. It's my cav and my general, uh, my cav and my, uh, archers that I really need to focus on. So focus on the guys right around here. That's the heavy infantry unit. That's a bit of an issue. Um, I'm trying to have you guys, uh, actually skirmish. Yeah, a third of their army's already dead. Wow. I thought this was going to go a lot worse, but no, with that many already dead, this is a really piss poor ambush. You know, at this point now, literally most of them are running. Taking out the enemy captain here. So we can now start trying to run down the rest of the enemy force. Eh, we lost about like 11% of my army. That's not that bad, actually, given the fact that we were ambushed. Okay, so we survived that. That's great. Um, now let's continue trying to properly keep pushing to where we were trying to go to. Because uh, I want to get a watchtower over on the uh, eastern side of uh, Sweden so that we can try and keep a better eye on that uh, part of uh, Scandinavia. Because eventually, once they're excommunicated, I will continue my war with Norway. But for right now, we'll kind of be a little bit nicer and leave them alone. And you reject that. It's not my fault that you guys rejected that. I try to be nice. Uh, just walk around the safe way. Walk around the safe way. Another watchtower. And then I'm going to have you grab... Uh, let's grab another under art unit, honestly. Let's grab that. Faction is communicated. France! Oh, we could go for France right now. We could do that. Um, I think we'll hold off on that. I do want to eventually kind of push over and take a little bit more from the West. Um, Region-wise, actually, I don't technically... Provinces, Alcudes, Belarus. Expand to 40 regions, whole provinces, Alcudes, and Belarus. Um... I don't know where the fuck that one is. I'm assuming that's supposed to be like the... They would just want me to control Jerusalem. Yeah, so they do want me to take Jerusalem still at some point. Um, don't know about the last one, but yeah, that will be kind of like the very end of this campaign when we decide to finally make my way over there. It will still be trying to focus on... Oh, shit, actually, that reminds me. No, that's where I should send you. Because um, this area is growing on its own without you. It's going up still 2% on its own. Yeah, uh, you go down this way. Because Basil, yeah, Basil needs to grow. So I'll send you down that way. Now, if this keeps up with you guys, again, this just propped up again. Um, this does remind me of something that was brought up in the comments where I'm tempted to keep to do this, actually, because it was brought up that I should possibly try and have it so that I um, I try and take Zara and I sell that off to Hungary, which is not a bad idea. Um, would also possibly prevent Serbia from attacking me, but it's also now uh, controlled by Pisana, actually, so still a good idea, I think. Um, I just don't know when we're going to try and do that, because at the moment right now, we're kind of trying to build these areas up. I know Frenzia and Pisa, you are both pretty upset. I need to just try and have it so that we keep building these areas up and make sure you guys are a little bit happier. Um, and then we'll probably go there. Oh, there we go. The roads are starting. You guys just finished your roads. I'm fin I'm getting so many of these done. Um, let's have you get the Provincial Council. Grab that building there. And then let's see. We can grab the lawn. Just got some roads here, too. Um, I should... Oh. Um, I want to grab this because it does improve farm stuff, but also gives me a bit more, um, 
You just need more growth. I need more public order. So let's actually get the church. Because again, I need more public order. Also, the, again, the churches are not bad to focus on because they allow me to try and get more stuff that will allow me to um, increase the educational buildings around here. So let's do that. Um, I don't think any of these are going to give me more population growth. Oh, this one is. No, perfect. Yeah, grab that. So you can actually maybe kind of grow that city. Our skill day, uh, get the bower. Um, we can have it so that Onslow, you just got a school up here. Get the better inn. Um, or actually, no, get the better town hall. Get the better town hall. Gets rid of some corruption. Gets some more public order. A lot of unrest up here. Um, looks like uh, Rogue Knight, you guys just got the council, but I already started building something around there. And then that is it for buildings right now. Perfect. So with that now down, I do think this is actually maybe going to be a good place to end for today. We've been able to take quite a bit of land from um, the Pisana. And now we just need to have it so we build these areas up, make sure they're a bit happy. I can start trying to have it so that my spies start trying to check out down here. Oh, you're actually sieged. You're sieged by the Pope? Yeah, they're sieged by the Pope. Um, literally by the Pope. The Pope is going there fucking personally. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, sure. Just go whoop their ass, man. That was one of my cardinals. Go, Papa Gregorios. I love they just pop up there. Um, yeah, I love that. Okay, but I do think this is a pretty good place to end for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any other thoughts you have on it in general? This was Rampane. I'll see you guys next time.